The crowds were smaller, the number of people arrested down compared to a year ago. And it seems for the first time in recent years, Atlantans were more accepting of Freaknik. Some of my friends couldn't take the normal routes they usually take to my house. So it was mildly inconvenient, but nothing to make a big deal out of. I just want to see the kids come down here, have fun, and be safe, you know, and just keep it peaceful as possible. This year, the kids were more peaceful than last. Police handed out 1,127 citations this year compared to 2,073 for Freaknik 96. 786 people were arrested this year, more than 1,200 a year ago. A lower police tolerance for criminal activity might have kept the event peaceful. 519 cars were impounded this year, compared to only 368 last year. And police confiscated 39 weapons for Freaknik 97, 16 for Freaknik 96. We did not have uh, serious uh, assaults associated with the events. We did not have the looting as we've experienced in the past. Police Chief Beverly Harvard called the event a success, and most residents we talked to today don't seem to disagree. There were more police at intersections directing the traffic, make sure people weren't stopping and getting out. So I thought that it, it went better, at least definitely from the standpoint of the police protection. Vendors say Freaknik will bring $30 million to Atlanta. Maybe that's why everybody wants to be a vendor, at least for the weekend. Here, there's supposed to be at least 250,000 people down here this year, so uh, everybody's going to have a little money to spend. We figure we can print 500 t-shirts, there's going to be no problem getting rid of them. But not everybody wants to tap into the Freaknik dollar. The NAACP is investigating charges that local hotels are lying to the black college students about being booked. We feel like we do have some pretty hard core evidence. Like I said, we've seen um, booking um, statistics. We have seen some um, memos in writing. It's an example of stereotyping of uh, black people in general and black students uh, in particular. To get a real appreciation of what Freaknik is all about, you'll need some Dramamine and a seat belt. Freaknik is such a big party, even the cars are dancing in the street. Some of these Freaknik revelers have been riding the celebration's sometimes bumpy wave of popularity for 10 years. Because this is a place where you come and relax when you get off work and everything that you know that you had hectic for the day, you can come and sit down and chill and no crime, you know, all of us are like a big family. Many of the partiers, like Johnny Matthews, the man behind the wheel, want to see Freaknik's critics lighten up. It's just fun, everybody having a good time, come to blow off some steam from cramming, the, you know, doing homework, doing anything. They just come in and have fun.